Hi everyone, Softrix Voice is back again with some more news from business, entertainment as well as political. Let's start with some news from US first. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella has said that unfair tactics used by Google led to its dominance as search engine. CEO Satya Nadella testified about competing with Google in digital search during the federal antitrust trial against Google in Washington DC. Nadella told the court that Google's dominant market share in online search means that publishers and advertisers shape their content to Google's requirement, making it harder for competitors like Microsoft's Bing to gain a foothold. He also described Microsoft's pitch to pay billions to Apple to replace Google with Bing as default search engine on its device. Now some news from Apple. Apple will issue a software update to address complaints of overheating in iPhone 15. Apple has said that it will issue a software update that would address customers' complaint about the latest iPhone models released just over a week long. Apple said that new iPhones were running hot because of a combination of bugs in iOS 17, bugs in apps and a temporary setup period that requires extra processing and therefore heat generation. And now some news from Amazon. Amazon customers report false emails as confirmation for gift cards which they did not buy. Amazon customers took to social media over the weekend to report a series of false email confirmations they received from the company about gift card purchases they had not made. Amazon customer service has received a host of calls from customers concerned that their accounts may have been hacked. One representative said that the company is looking into the cause of the faulty emails but that accounts are safe and customers can ignore the messages. And now for some political news from US. President Biden's pro-competition agenda put to test as net neutrality tech trials take shape. President Joe Biden's pro-competition agenda is being put to the test this fall. On Tuesday, the Federal Trade Commission filed its anti-suit against Amazon and the Federal Communications Commission announced an effort to reinstate net neutrality rules. Supreme Court to hear cases from Florida and Texas related to social media over right to moderate content. The US Supreme Court on Friday said it will decide whether Texas and Florida can prevent social media companies from banning or restricting certain users. The states have both passed legislation that Republican lawmakers say will stop tech companies from stiffing conservative options. Texas and Florida argue that the laws ensure all users have equal access to the platforms while the tech companies claim they violate free speech rights. Coinbase CEO slams JP Morgan for banning crypto payments in UK, advises government to take action. Jay's UK earlier this week put out a notice to customers saying it will no longer allow its customers to purchase cryptocurrencies using its debit cards or through bank transfers. The bank cited concerns over the risk of fraud to its customers from cryptocurrencies, citing data showing that fraud related to digital currencies has been on the rise. Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong slammed the move by Chase UK to ban crypto related transaction, saying it wasn't right to private companies to de-platform the crypto industry. Armstrong suggested that the UK government should take heed of the move, though he acknowledged the country's ambition to become a Web3 and crypto hub. The Meta AI chatbot is Mark Zuckerberg's answer to ChatGPT. Meta has introduced a virtual assistant on 27 September to compete with OpenAI's ChatGPT that can serve up answers to questions from Microsoft's Bing search engines and generate images from text commands. Meta AI, as the assistant is called, is powered by the company's large language model Llama 2. Meta's AI assistant can do things like suggest travel plans in a group chat. Meta also announced a collection of chatbots based on roughly 30 celebrities, including Snoop Dogg, Paris Hilton, 
टेनिस स्टार नेमी ओजाका एंड फॉर्मर फुटबॉल प्लेयर टॉम ब्रेडी मेटा सीईओ मार्क जुगरबर आईज डिजिटल असिस्टेंट स्मार्ट क्लासेस ए आई इन मेटावर्स पुश मार्क शोड ऑफ द ए आई सॉफ्टवेयर इन एडिशन टू द कंपनीज न्यू क्वेस्ट थ्री वर्चुअल रियलिटी हेडसेट एंड लेटेस्ट रे बैंड स्मार्ट क्लासेस ऑन विटनेस थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लिसनिंग टू आश प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल थैंक्स वॉन्स अगेन